Hi, this is you. And this demo, I'll be showing you how tag based service mapping is being done in ServiceNow. So if you haven't done so to subscribe to my channel, please don't forget to like and subscribe and join my membership to further support my channel. And as we go back to the service mapping, the first step is basically you need to have the configuration item established inside the service now. So you can see here on this column, you have the CI established and you need to implement a tagging strategy that will map to your CI. And in this example, you have the configuration item, you have the key and you have the value. And to be able to navigate to this view, it is basically housed inside the cmdb underscore key underscore value dot list. So you can create this tagging strategy by fully integrating to your environment through a, a REST API as an example, or using the cmdb 360 as another option. So there's quite a few options to basically populate this table. And in my example, I manually created this data to create a tag-based service map. And to continue tag-based service mapping, you will have already a picture on how your environment is currently established or implemented. And as you have run as one scenario, your discovery or horizontal discovery, so you will have the configuration item already populated in your ServiceNow CMDB. And it could be a Windows server, it could be an appliance, depending on what you have in your environment. As an example, as you have basically populated, the next step is to create the key value pair. So what we're trying to do here is like, we are creating a structure or metadata and associate it to the necessary tags of the multiple CIs that we'll be associating to. So as we basically created this key value list in the CMDB, so the next step is to create a tag category so we can match the keys and its structure. So as we do that in this example, we created an application and environment category name. So as we drill down, you will see that the category name could have multiple tag keys and these tag keys can now be associated to a service family. And before we move to the service family, I would like to explain that the metadata from your cloud environment and the CI, now you can populate it and map it respectively. As you can see, we are already building the structure of your service mapping. So let us navigate back to the tag categories under service mapping, under administration and CI tag categories. And let us drill down to the environment. As you can see on this example, we have two tag keys. And, and as we basically create tag keys or the metadata that will be populated, then the parent of course will be the service. And as we basically create that service, now we can associate the two tag categories that we have created. Now that you have created the structure for your tag based strategy, service now is intelligent enough to see the new candidates for association. So in my example, basically I have already associated the candidates as I have created the structure. Now those candidates will have to wait for a scheduled job to build the relationship of the key value to the CI, to the metadata, up to the service family. So as you can see, we have a parent-child JSON type relationship already established. So we have a choice of executing the script now, which I did earlier, or basically going to the scheduled job. And as you can see, wait for a daily run of the script to link the CI to the tag categories and to the service family. And as you can see, ServiceNow is making a life easier by getting the value and associating it to the service family ID. So I'll leave that to you to basically drill down further to this object to give you a deeper understanding. And as we go back to the tag service family, let us drill down to view the map. So as you can see, the service map has already been created, but prior to the child CIs being associated to the service family, 
there's an extra step that you need to do as we navigate to the gear icon is to basically run another script. And as we have run that script, we can now confidently go to the CMDB workspace and see the associated CIs in an umbrella of a service map. And in this example, I'll let you explore that. Then I'll be going back to this service map view and navigate to the dependency views, and you will see a fully mapped tag-based service aware application. And as we have created this full mapping using the tags, now you will have the ability to see the impact and the criticality of the service. So you can isolate very specific business aware or service aware service that is providing probably an income generating application that is supporting your business. And as we further example that using ITSM, as we create an incident, now we could basically navigate back to the service and type in the service map tag base that we have created. And from there, the service desk or the engineers will have the ability to see the amount of risk that has been created. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and join us a member to further support my channel. I'll see you on my next video.